Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to IOK News. We hope everybody had an amazing week. Every religion has a distinctive quality. The distinctive quality of Islam is modesty. Modesty is a quality of being moderate and having self-consciousness. We can be modest by dressing appropriately. Modesty also means displaying proper etiquette in front of other people. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, would always show proper etiquette when he was around others and give them his full attention. Narrated by Abu Hurairah, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Faith consists of more than 60 branches, and Haya is part of faith. The term Haya describes the quality of self respect, modesty, bashfulness, and being humble. To be humble means to not show off. Not sharing everything about yourself and your accomplishments is a way to practice modesty. In, in the description box below this video, click the link to tell us what you think of when you hear the word modesty. We would love to hear from you and select a response that we publish in our next news video. MashaAllah, a number of students have completed the memorization of a juz over the last two weeks. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all and continue to grant you success and guidance. Ameen. We are very excited to announce the winners of our recent IOK School Art Contest. We are proud of all of our students for the efforts, MashaAllah. Our winners are 3rd grade to 6th grade, Kareem Hijaz, Iman Bati, and Zainab Zuberi. Our 7th grade to 10th grade winners are Hania Kashif and Amr Hijaz. TK through 2nd grade participants receive goodie bags for their participation. Well, I guess life is better with ice cream. Alhamdulillah, Sister Shanila's 1st grade class experimented with making homemade ice cream virtually. It seems like they had a great time and I'm sure that ice cream was delicious. Let's take a look. Any football fans out there? The Kansas City Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers faced off in the 2021 Super Bowl. This is the first time in history a team hosted the Super Bowl in their own hometown. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers took home the trophy, making it the seventh championship for quarterback Tom Brady. Here's a friendly public service announcement from one of Ms. Mariam Barucha's science students about the COVID-19 vaccine. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I'm Mana Ali, and today Sumaya Aman and I will be talking about COVID-19 as well as its side effects, vaccines, and racism during this time. So, so the first question is, what are some effects of COVID-19 on your body? So this is essentially a virus that infects your body by entering your healthy cells. There, the invader makes copies of itself and multiplies throughout your body. The new coronavirus latches its spiky surface proteins to receptors on your healthy cells, especially those in your lungs. So this is extremely affecting your respiratory system and the way you breathe. Specifically, the viral proteins bust into cells through your receptors, and once inside, the coronavirus hijacks healthy cells and takes command. Eventually, it kills some of your healthy cells. Now, the second question to be asked is, why is it important to wear masks? Why do we have to cover our faces when going out and socializing with people? And the reason for this is that the coronavirus has been spread even before symptoms appear. So things such as coughing, sneezing, or even speaking at a close range. Cloth face coverings have been recommended due to their low cost and ready, ready availability. Um, so as more is being learned about COVID and the spread of it, there has been a growing body of evidence showing just how effective these masks can be. Health experts also say that science is clear that the more people wear masks, the better. An analysis of respiratory infections and mass effectiveness by the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation suggests a reduction in infection by at least one third for mass wearers compared to control groups. This analysis supports the growing scientific contest, sorry, um, that cloth masks, whether homemade or commercial, can reduce respiratory virus infections by 33% and slow down community spread of COVID-19. So, by all this and looking at different tests being done, we can show, it's showing that um, we need to wear masks and stay safe and make sure we are covering our mouth and our nose. So the third question is how fast do these viral inf infections spread and why? Human brains tend to 
extrapolate in a straight line from recent experience, but infectious diseases spread exponentially. On Monday, March 15th of 2020, the U.S. had about 4,000 confirmed cases, and you may have said, well, that's such a small portion of the country's population. What's all the fuss? But by Wednesday, it had grown to around 8,000. So then you might think that the total will grow by 4,000 each day. It's much more than that. With exponential growth, the number of new cases each day constantly increases. And by looking at graphs um, over the time, you'll see that the lines curve upwards and that it can get you into big numbers real fast. What you need to look at is the percentage and how much it increases. And in this case, it doubled an increase of 100% in just two days. At this rate, it will grow from 8,000 on Wednesday to 16,000 on Friday and 32,000 by Sunday. So we want to make sure that we're keeping um, ourselves safe. And it really just depends on the county that you're living in, uh, what precautions they're taking. And everyone, every state has different numbers. Um, right now, California is at the peak and it is really high in the U.S. Uh, I believe it's in every five people, at least one person has coronavirus. And I'm sure you guys know at least one person who has coronavirus, if not yourself, have been affected by it. And now Amina is going to be speaking on vaccines, um, how they work, and just answering some questions about that. Yeah, so speaking about vaccines, how exactly do they work? Why are Americans so skeptical about it? And is it even safe to take it? Well, these, um, well, both vaccines um, use messenger RNA or mRNA for short, which is a genetic material that our cells read to make proteins. This molecule is fragile and would be chopped to pieces by our natural enzymes if it were injected directly into the body. So to perfect this, uh, to protect this vaccine, the companies wrap the mRNA in oily bubbles made of lipid nanoparticles so, um, so that it doesn't get chopped to pieces. And after injection, the vaccine particles bump into cells and fuse to them, releasing mRNA. The cell's molecules read its sequence and build spike proteins. The mRNA from the vaccine is eventually destroyed by the cell, leaving no permanent trace. So why are Americans so skeptical about taking this vaccine? Well, it's no surprise that the public is split on expectations for how we need to deal and recover, both collectively and individually. Yet even amongst those who consider COVID-19 a real reason, there is an uneasiness around, most <clears throat> around the most promising solution to the pandemic, which is a vaccine. According to scientificamerican.com, in a poll taken in mid-May, fewer than 50% of Americans surveyed said that they would commit to getting a COVID vaccine whenever it becomes available. So this shows that there are more people who are not willing to take the vaccine than there are to taking the vaccine. So is it even safe to take it? Well, the vaccination should help you from, um, from getting, <clears throat> the vaccination will protect you from getting um, COVID-19 and it is possible that you have some side effects, but these are normal signs that your body is building protection. These side effects may affect your ability to do some daily activities, but they usually go away in a few days. Now, Samaya will be. Okay, thank you, Amina. Um, so why are some Black and Latino people reluctant to get the COVID-19 vaccine? So Black and Latino people are reluctant to get this vaccine for many reasons. First of all, in the past, uh, in the past racist and possibly dangerous clinical experiments and health policies that target particularly um, vulnerable com communities have been issued. For example, the Tuskegee experiments showed the economic and cultural inequities in the U.S. healthcare system that unfairly harmed Black and Latino communities. The study was supposed to track the natural progression of syphilis, but the subjects were instead told that they were being treated for bad blood, which refers to conditions like anemia and fatigue or syphilis, and never received the cure, according to the uh, Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC. Second of all, a lot of mistrust around the COVID-19 vaccine has also been generated by, um, has also been generated. So the chaotic messaging around the pandemic has caused um, people to be constantly pressured to wear a mask and President Trump and his administration's approach to the healthcare, healthcare crisis has not helped. So experts say we need to work directly with community leaders and amplify the voices of people of color to, erase, uh, to ease fears, um, build trust, and disseminate people uh, disseminate proper information about the vaccines according to Healthline. 
So how should the US respond to and contain this virus? So in December 2019, a new strain of coronavirus was identified in the Chinese city of Wuhan. The Chinese government was initially reluctant to acknowledge the extent of the disease, but eventually contained the disease with strict guidelines. In the case of the United States, um, immediate, immediate guidelines were not put in place and caused even further spread. It should have um, responded by taking travel restrictions, especially from China, and urging others to do the same while continuing screening procedures. This option um, would facilitate the flow of resources and assist efforts to track the virus according to modern diplomacy's pop-up about the topic of COVID-19. The U.S. should have used its resources for international containment, treatment efforts, and offering to send resources um, or teams to China. In regards to the fear that has spread due to the deadly disease, the U.S. should have just contain the virus so that it does not reach to the point that citizens need to worry. Awareness on its matter should be spread and assurance that a vaccine and the safety of the people should be told. Okay, everyone, I think that wraps it up for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this PSA. Um, even if you learned something small, that still counts. And I hope you took something from here. Um, so make sure you guys stay safe. Like I said before, please wear your mask, um, social distance the best as possible. And I hope that everyone um, is healthy and may Allah SWT keep us all safe. And yeah, um, thank you everyone. Jazakallah khair, assalamu alaikum. In the description box below, click the link to tell us what you think of when you hear the word modesty. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications for our YouTube channel. Jazakallah khair and assalamu alaikum.